Hey guys, how's it going? It is Tuesday, October 29th, 2024, and today we are looking at the weather across the country. We're watching the tropics here for some development. Also, some severe weather possible with this next storm that's digging into the west. The central plains states here really have to watch these uh, storms as they form. And we're also looking at a very strong jet stream aloft. This was interesting to look at. In fact, as we head into next week, some of these winds in the mid-levels could exceed 150 knots. That is way above normal. So a pretty wild setup as uh, we get into what's going on right now. A quick look at the satellite uh, as we start out the day. We've got this trough here in the west. That's bringing the rain and the snow here. A ridge starting to build here at, back across the Midwest into the east and the northeast too. So fair weather here for now, and it is very dry. Unfortunately, no rain in the forecast for today here. Temperatures way above average. And as I said, we are watching this area right in here for some tropical development. We could be looking at our next storm forming over the next seven days, about a 40% chance of development from the National Hurricane Center. Nothing really has changed here. A quick look at the ensembles from this morning. You get the idea as we head into what early next week that something's going to be in this area. These are the ensemble plots giving you an idea of where the storm could be. Again, a lot of spreads here, but one thing that I've noticed on today's run anyway, a little more consensus of something in this area versus things way over here, although we do see that, right? A little weaker, but... I think you've got to watch this from Florida into the Gulf Coast, and then things kind of spread out heading into next week. Of course, it would. We're really far out on that. So a lot of time before we iron all of those details out. Cold front will be moving through the uh, Central Plains states. That's also the storm that's bringing the snow here into the Rockies, the Wasatch Mountains of Utah. And it, I don't even have to draw the front out. You can see it here. Temperatures on the way down. That will also serve as the lifting mechanism to some pretty unstable air with dew points riding up into the 60s out ahead of the front. So that's going to bring some severe weather Tuesday night to early Wednesday morning and again Wednesday afternoon in areas of Kansas, Oklahoma, maybe even as far east as Missouri and Arkansas. And then as we head into Thursday, the severe weather threat actually is going to shift here into the deep south. Quick look at the Storm Prediction Center's outlook this would be for today, Tuesday, from Iowa down here into Texas. A lot of this will be heading into the overnight hours. The day two outlook, looking a little more impressive here from Iowa south into Texas. If you really dive into this a little more, the tornado outlook, it's kind of elevated here from Kansas into Oklahoma. I will tell you that the storm modes will likely shift to be more of a linear fashion, more of a convective thunderstorm complex versus these individual supercells as the storms progress through the day on Wednesday, but there will be these isolated supercells, I think kind of mixed among these, and that could lead to some tornadoes. It's one of the reasons we are seeing that outlook here from the Storm Prediction Center. And by day three, again, everything pushing east, and again, you've got to watch the Gulf Coast here. A lot of moisture coming in off the Gulf, and with that instability, severe thunderstorms looking a little more likely now. High pressure just off the east coast, return flow around that, keeping us warm here into the Midwest, also fairly dry. Maybe a few showers across Florida as we move uh, into Wednesday. I'm going to back this up and show you Tuesday, though. Again, there's our storm back here across the Rockies that eventually will kick out into the Plain States. But again, another dry day on Wednesday. And then there's your severe weather kicking out into late Wednesday into Thursday here across the Central Plains. And low pressure really starts to deepen as it heads towards the Great Lakes. On the northwest side of this, there could be some snow mixing in. I want to take a moment to talk about that because while it doesn't look like it's going to be a heavy snow event, we're still talking about cold enough air that we could see some snow trying to mix in and some rain trying to finally push into parts of the Ohio Valley, the Tennessee Valley, into the Appalachians uh, by the end of the week. Not a lot, but maybe a little bit. The models are still trying to print something out here across Minnesota, Wisconsin, maybe even the UP of Michigan. Again, as this storm kicks out into the Plain States and, and starts to deepen, that colder air gets wrapped in here. I don't know that it's going to be cold enough to see a lot of accumulation. These models typically overdo the accumulations when you start to see uh, these early season snow systems move through. But maybe a couple of inches, possible. Could we get a surprise six-inch snow or more? Maybe. I'm not saying it's out of the picture, but I would say at this point, not looking likely. Stay tuned. Some more details on that to be determined as we get into, I guess, now tonight and then really into tomorrow as these shorter range models come into a better agreement. But we're starting to see that consensus here. Again, pay attention to these areas. It's certainly not like uh, the end of the world, right? But it could be uh, an early season snow. 
Warm temperatures again across the east on your Tuesday. Temperatures on the way down, though, as we head toward the end of the week as our cold front moves through. So by Friday, much cooler temperatures moving into the Great Lakes, also the Midwest and the Northeast. A wider look at what's going on as we head through the week. Low pressure moving through the Great Lakes. We've talked about that. That's going to bring some snow also into parts of Ontario. High pressure building in behind this. And look, another storm slams into the west. This is the next one that's really going to be significant. I think it's going to be stronger. I think it's going to dig further to the south. And that's probably going to put more moisture into states like Arizona, New Mexico, Utah and Colorado once again. What goes down on in, in the west is going to go up in the east. So a decent ridge building here, above average temperatures. And this is where that jet was going to be really strong. So does that lead to some severe weather? I think it's way too early to tell. But this storm here could be strong. I want to watch that one. And then look at this monster spinning up here in the Gulf of Alaska. You know, if you've watched any of the videos, I've talked about the temperature differences that we're seeing here with the warmer waters just south uh, of, uh, of Alaska and then the colder air across the continent. It is really cold here too with temperatures near or below zero. So with that sharp temperature contrast, it's no wonder we're getting these huge storms forming here in the Gulf uh, in, in the North Pacific here. That's just going to continue to pile that snow up here into the coastal ranges of British Columbia. And uh, some of that moisture, it's going to have a hard time getting east of the mountains into Western Canada, but still big storms going here across the West. And then what's happening in the tropics, right? This is the GFS deterministic model. I'm not going to track exact points of where the storm may be, but we've got to watch it. All right, that's all I got. Have a great Tuesday. See ya.